Right then guys, I've got an auction box. Are we gonna find gold or is it a load of sh Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Right then guys, so I'm just gonna go through the box. I've kind of got it all laid out of the floor now. Um, but yeah, I'll just kind of go through it all and I'll show you what I got. To be honest, it doesn't look like there's anything major. However, I'm going to show you a couple of other bits at the end that are maybe a slightly better. So, uh, yeah, a bit disappointing, really, because, well, saying that, this is a part lot out of another lot, you know, out of, like, three boxes worth of stuff. So it's not necessarily disappointing in the fact that I'm going to not make that much money on it or anything. It's a fact that, you know, I wanted to show you something with a bit more substance, you know, and there's actually not that amazing amazing things here so that's why i'm going to show you another couple of bits at the end so yeah without further ado we've got a load of these um tankards um with glass bottoms don't, i don't think these are really worth that much i've had them had them in the past i've sold them in the past you know they're just sort of pewter little ones they're not really worth that much you know there is a market for them and people will buy them but they're just not you know they're just not amazing amazing however saying that um I put it over here because it was making a right old racket. This is a musical one, uh, and I'm not going to turn it because when I turned it before, it it just it took forever to shut up. So um, this is a musical one. So you turn that, and then it makes a sound. So that's pretty cool. So I don't know whether there's going to be any more money in these musical ones. You know, I mean, standard ones, you're lucky to get like a tenner out of them. To be honest, it depends on the size and. You know, if we've got like uh, an engraving in with like a certain subject that matter that might be appealing or whatever, but generally they're, they're not very good. But this musical one, I don't know, it might be 15, 20 quid, something like that. But I'd have to, I'd have to double check on, on eBay, it might not be that, but we'll see. I mean, yeah, that's pretty cool. So that's like a little musical one. I am not gonna, as I say, I'm not gonna wind it up because it'll drive you mad, it'll drive you absolutely mad. Um, we've got a little plate here, looks quite modern. Uh, Royal Crown uh, Derby, I always want to say Derby, but it's Derby. Um, red, Red Ives, Red Ives pattern, Aves, Red Aves pattern, I don't know. Um, but it does look like quite a modern mark, um, but it's quite a nice little plate that. So uh, it looks like some sort of side plate. I think it does seem a little bit too small for a side plate, but it probably is a side plate. Um, so yeah, um, don't know on that, but I, I don't think there'll be much money in that. I check on my phone now. Actually, quickly uh, get it up on my phone. Um, there's loads of different patterns of these as well. Looks like red uh, World Crown Derby uh, red Ives uh, fluted plate 10.5 inches diameter nine pound fifty plus forty fifty postage um, yeah there's some random ones gone that's crazy there's some like w uh, random ones gone internationally for crazy money and there's some like bigger wow there's some like massive bowls and stuff that have gone for like sixty seventy quid so definitely worth looking out for the uh, red Aves or Red Ives pattern, I don't know. It's A V E S. Um, but yeah, I mean, just a little bowl, you know, a little side plate on its own. I can't see it being much in fiver plus postage, something like that, maybe a little bit more. But yeah, um, I'm going to try and see if there's any more of that in any of the, of the boxes. But yeah, that's that. So that's some, uh, a load more of these pewter tankards that I won't really read in too much with you because they're just standard. Um, we've got absolutely loads of them here and then I've actually got a set of three that have been engraved for uh, first prize in the school swimming uh, school swimming St. David's July 1917 I didn't think these were actually that old um, but you know just looking at them like if I were to date them I wouldn't have thought they would have been quite that old but yeah 1917 so that's pretty cool um, and I, I'd say there's three of those so I might do a, like a little bundle and maybe someone who I don't know I think it, it must be a school that St. David's I don't know I mean I know there's a St. David's I'm pretty sure there's St. David's a place but um, that might be a school St. David's school or something but I don't know there might be someone who's like kind of 
tied in with that place or whatever who would like these. So I bundle those, well there's actually three of them. There's that one, that one, and then there's this one. So I'll bundle them for you up and I might get a little bit of money back out of them. I can't see them being much, maybe 15 quid for the bundle plus my postage, maybe 20 if I'm lucky. Um, but I don't know, I'd have, to, I'd have to double check, you know, I'd have to, I'd have to do some research on that and see if it's if they're worth anything amazing. But I just can't see them being, them being worth loads. Um, so that's those. Um, we've got another one, now this is like a um, copper one, it looks like pretty much all copper, there might be a bit of some other metal there on the top, I don't, I don't know quite how well you're going to pick that up, but there might be some sort of brass there on the top, it's not in the best of condition. Um, I might have a go of selling it, otherwise it'll just go in my little, I have like, well, I say little, I have like a big massive box of all like, um, scrap stuff, so if it doesn't go after, after a while, it might just go in my scrap box and just get some money from, from scrap at the end of the year, but I don't know, I'll definitely try selling it, because I don't like, you know, this seems like it's fairly decent, so I'm going to try selling it anyway, because I don't just like scrapping things for no reason, however, if things have got like, for example, if this had like a big hole in it or whatever, it can just go in my scrap. But, you know, because it's not really that bad condition, I'm going to definitely try selling it and see if someone wants it. Although inside is a bit, don't think you can see that very well, but it's a bit ropey condition inside. So, don't know anyway, but that looks pretty old actually. Um, I've got a random two napkin wing, so I'm assuming the others are in the other boxes because I'm pretty sure you get like a set of four or six of these. So, yeah, don't know them then. Uh, another tankard, I don't know whether I showed you that one. There's absolutely loads of these tankards. Another one. Um, to be honest, I could do without loads of these, but I could, to be honest, I could probably put them in my cabinet for a little bit of money just to get them out, like a five or a piece or something, four or five quid a piece, and they should go for that. Bit of commemorative wear. There are, like, certain bits of commemorative wear to look out for. Um, there was a cup and saucer, actually, from like a, just a random company, you know, made, who made a cup and saucer, a commemorative wire one. And um, I think I've got that on for like £10 plus postage or 15 quid. So there's some bits of commemorative wear that are at least worth a little bit of money. So never dismiss all of one thing. Like don't just say, oh, commemorative wear is crap, because uh, there are going to be things in there that are worth money. So um, yeah, I would never really say that commemorative, all commemorative wear is crap, but this stuff, you know, I can't see it being worth money really, so there's there's that piece there, a little mug or a cup. There was just so many of these things done. Um, and then we've got, oh, we've got Bretley, Bretley Ware, Staffordshire, and then we've got sort of like this twin-handled cup here, or a mug, uh, commemorative. I, I'll have a look at that one, because it's uh, Bretley Ware, so I don't know, I just, I'll just type in Bretley Ware, uh, commemorative mug or something, and just see what comes up, just to be sure, but I can't see there being much money in that. Um, and then we've got some other mug again, some sort of souvenir wear or something like that. Um, Old English Knight, Prince Leopold, uh, Lodge number um, 1588, uh, William C. Connell, WM. I don't even know what half that means, but yeah. I don't think there's going to be much in that again. I might stick it on, but I don't know. It might be, I might, it might be something I could try in the cabinet, but I just... Mm, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'll have to research that. Um, we've got this kind of, I think it's probably pewter. Um, quite highly decorated. Well, I say highly decorated. I mean quite boldly decorated. Um, it's got, it's kind of like a Victorian style of decoration. You know, like Victorian decoration was really big and bold and in your face. It's kind of like that. I don't know whether it is Victorian or not. I don't know whether it has that much age, but it's like a little milk jug, I would assume, uh, or maybe a water jug or something like that. It does look a little bit too small to be a water jug, though. Um, but it's quite nice, you know, it's quite nice. It's got this kind of um, in inscribed sort of engraving on it um, there. I don't, I don't know where you're going to pick it up very well, but it's got some sort of floral decoration inscribed into it on the, on the bottom here. It's quite nice, but it's probably not worth all that much. I'll check, you know, to see if there's any similar ones of these, but I can't see it being more than 10, 15 quid at most, really. And that's pushing it 15, really, but I don't know. I'd, I'd have to double check on it because, you know, 
anything can be worth more money than you actually think until you actually check. So I've got to double check, you know. I can't just think to myself, right, yeah, I know exactly how much this is worth before I've completely checked. However, if I get another one in the future and I've checked, then I'll know. Um, but since I've never had one before, I really, I don't know, but I, I'm just assuming it's not going to be worth a lot of money. So, yeah, that's that one. Um, I've got some sort of, it looks like this is transfer printed and not, like, hand painted. Don't know. Yeah, it probably is, like, transfer printed. Um, nice little vase. Only very small, maybe 10, 15 centimetres, probably about 15. Um, nothing on the bottom. Although, you, a lot of these vases I've had don't have anything on the bottom, and it's annoying because it's very, very hard to research. But um, I don't think it's anything major. Um, if it had, like, a Chinese mark on or something, that would make it even harder for me because I really don't know, uh, you know, like, Chinese stuff and all that kind of things. I haven't a clue with, but I don't know. I'll have, I'll have to try and type some random things into eBay and Google and hope something comes up for it. And uh, yeah, uh, again, I don't, I can't see it being worth a lot of money though. Um, if it had a mark on and I knew what the mark was, then yeah, it might be worth more money because I can then uh, research it properly. I can uh, go on eBay, I can type in the mark of the makers or whatever, and then I could know properly uh, if it has any good value or, where, or whatever. And obviously, the mark, if it's a good maker, it'll it'll help it out a little bit. But I don't know on that, so yeah, that's that one. Um, this was in a different lot, but I thought I'd show it you anyway, just to spice up the video a little bit. Um, so this is a Bohemian Crystal, um, over 24% fine cut uh, lead crystal uh, stemware. And as you can see, it's in its box. And it's quite nice. I don't know what value there is on it. Um, I don't think it's top of the line or anything, but certainly there's got to be some value. It's quite a nice little thing. It's quite, it's quite heavy. It's, it looks quite well cut, to be honest, so... I can see there being some money in that, but um, not sure, maybe 20, 30 quid, maybe a little bit more, but I'll have to check on eBay, but that's quite nice, very, very heavy, so I don't know, I don't know whether there's like a uh, style number or pattern on here, or it just says decanter, 2015, well, 2015.94, I don't know whether that's the, the year it was made, but I doubt it with the state of the box and everything and the look of the box, so I think that might be some sort of number on there, like a pattern number or something, I don't know. But I'd have to see, I'll check that one out anyway. But it's, it's not going to be too hard to research because it has Bohemian Crystal on the box, so yeah. Yeah, that's quite cool. So that was in a different lot. And this was in the same lot as the Bohemian Crystal. I got that lot for the Bohemian Crystal and then another, it was like in a box of stuff for 15 quid plus commission. And this was in there with it as well. And this is a, well, I think it's some sort of serving plate or serving bowl or something. Um, and it's Viner's uh, silver plate. So it's quite, you know, it's a good make. Um, Viner's silver plated Taiwan. Now, I don't know whether it being made in Taiwan is a good thing or a bad thing, I'm not sure. Uh, someone who has had this in the past has put a little price sticker on there. Maybe they've been taking it to an antique fair or something, I don't know, a collectibles fair. And they've put 38 quid on there. I don't know whether it's worth that. Maybe that's pushing it a little bit. Maybe it's 30 quid, something like that, 25, 30 quid. But I'll have to double check on it. But it's quite nice. Um, again quite nice design on there and it's got all this sort of uh, decoration on on the sides here it's quite nice um, I mean it looks like it's got some sort of inscribed design in the middle I don't think it's like a floral design or something I don't know what just quite a nice quite a nice design I don't know but yeah there are a few flowers and stuff in it so you could maybe call it floral but yeah Quite nice that is anyway, and it's quite big, quite a quite a big thing. So yeah, I'll do a bit more research into that, but I think that might be that might that might be okay. And obviously between the two, I think I've got way more than my money back off off the lot. And as I say, there was a few more bits and bobs in in the box. So yeah, quite happy with that. So I thought I'd just show you those two. And finally, um, I got this uh, military spade. Now this was out of a military lot that I paid. I did pay up on it to be honest. I paid seventy five quid. Um, but there was plenty of stuff in there, there was an ammunition box, there was a couple of like, um, uh, sort of cylindrical kind of, 
I don't know what we were to store. I, I don't know, maybe ammunition or something. I don't know. I really have no clue. But there was some like solidical kind of things. There was um, there were about four jerry cans, which are quite nice actually. There were uh, there was a, a military type stool, just quite a basic one, but it's quite cool. And then there was this spade. There was uh, about three or four, two no, two or three uh, jackets, like military jackets. There was, um, I'm trying to think, there was, there was a couple of other items in there. There was a couple of other items in there actually, but I, there was, there was um, some jerry can sort of stands that you attach to um, a car of some sort. I don't know whether it would be a Jeep or a Land Rover or something. Um, and then there was a couple of other items, but I, I can't remember. There was, a, there was one or two other items, but, oh, that was it. Like, um, sort of bags, you know, like rucksacks, like military rucksacks. Um, but this spade, I've seen, like, very, very similar ones of these military spades go for around the 27 quid mark. Well, pretty much exactly 27 quid, 26.99. So, yeah, probably going to be shooting for about that. Maybe push 30 plus postage or something, but quite happy with that. So I'm going to try with that. I've never sold these before, so I'm just going to have to price what kind of other people have priced that and hope for the best. Um, I might be slightly off on that, but that's what I've been researching and that's what solds have told me. So yeah, pretty cool. Obviously, like it folds down like this and then you can open it up. If I can open it up on camera here, there we go. And then it folds out like that and then you've got a spade there, which is pretty cool. Don't know where you see it very well in the lighting. Now, I don't know... Hey, it's a bit, it's a bit thin, thingy actually. Isn't it? Oh, that's why you use it that way. You use it that way. So you dig that way. But it does seem a bit, a bit flimsy. I don't know whether there's anything you attach in to hold it in place a little bit more. I, I don't know. Maybe you don't. Maybe it does just work. But yeah, pretty cool anyway. I quite like that. So I really did want that a lot of military. So I did bid five pound more than my, max, my maximum bid. My maximum bid was was seventy. I just couldn't bear not clicking that bid button once more so I clicked that bid button and I was still happy at 75 to be honest so yeah so that was that um, and I'll leave it there guys so that's pretty much everything from this little box and a few extras hope you enjoyed the video if you did enjoy the video please do give it a thumbs up down below drop a comment from any of the stuff you've seen if you think that I'm wrong on anything you know I've, I've misinformed people drop it down below or if you you know not have any more information on these items please do drop it down below as well so i will leave it there guys thank you very much and i will see you in the next one so see you very soon guys